In today's video, I will show you how you can program using JavaScript in your Android device. I will show you three different methods. The first one is using just an application that you can download from the Google Play Store, and the other two ones are using Termux. The first one is going to be using Termux Native, and the other one is going to be using a Debian peer root environment or any other peer root environment. We are going to use Visual Studio Code in both Termux cases, so let's start with the first method using an Android application. So the first thing to do is go into the Google Play Store and download this Node.js editor. I will leave the link to this application in the description of the video. So after the application is downloaded, we are going to open it and we can see the default template. This is a template that you can modify or you can just run it and see if that works. We have a couple of JavaScript files that you can modify to see if everything is working fine, but I will show you how to use different templates. If we go to the first icon, we can see that we have several templates. You can select the one that you prefer and you want to start coding. For example, let's select the HTML template so we can take a look to the other functionalities. You have all the code here, but if you need to do some search in the code, you can use this functionality in the third icon. Here you can write any word and it will look for the word in the different files in the project. You can also synchronize with a GitHub repository or you can look for ideas in the community tab. Also, you have all the chain log for a different version and you can log in with your accounts. Now I will show you how to run the code that you have in your main project, but first we are going to switch to the default project that we have already before. So let's go to the first icon and let's select the React template. Here you can see all of the templates available and we are going to select this one which is the default project that comes with the application the first time we open it. You can modify this. I recommend you using a Bluetooth keyboard. And now we are going to run the project with the run button in the upper part. We are going to click it and we will need to log in with an account. In my case, I will use a Google account. After this, we are going to claim the token because in the free version of this application, you can only run this with an account. And when the terminal page is open, we need to wait until all the libraries are installed. Once it finished, I had to go back and then run it again, so the web server is launched. Now this page will be open and you can see the result of your project. You can also open it in a web browser in your Android device. And now I will show you how you can run Node.js in Termux Native. Don't worry, in case you don't know how to have this installed, you can follow my videos on the channel. Basically, you can go to my channel and look for Termux Native. And the first one is the video that you need to follow. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Anyway, now we are going to search for the Node.js package in the terminal with the command you are seeing right now. And we will see that we have several versions. We have the standard Node.js and we have the Node.js long time support. You will find also Node.js 12, 16 and 18. But we are going to use the default one. So just install it with the command you are seeing right now. And we are going to open Visual Studio Code. If you don't know how to install it, you can follow the other video I leave in the description. And now we are going to create a new project. So let's click on File, Open Folder, and we are going to create a new folder for our project. We are going to call whatever you want, in my case, no test application, and just click on Open. Now we are going to create the first file for our project. Let's call it node.js or whatever you want. And we are going to populate it with some content. In this case, I have just used the web browser that you can have in this environment to go to ChatGPT and ask for some sample code. Basically, I just asked for a basic project in node.js and it gives me two different files. One, a JavaScript file that I'm going to copy in the first one. And then I'm going to create an HTML file so we can copy the other code. Go to ChatGPT. Let's copy the code that it gave to me. And now we are going to run the project to see if this is working. The good thing is when we run the web server here, we can access from outside Thermux. So if you go to the native Android web browser, you can have access to your web page. So to run the project, we are going to open a terminal in Visual Studio Code and we are going to run the JavaScript file. So let's execute the command node and the JavaScript file and this will open the web page in the port 3000 by default. So you can copy this URL and paste it into any web browser. You can do it in the Termux web browser or even in the Android original web browser. 
Here you can see that once the page loads, you have all your page. So if we modify anything here, let's go to the HTML file and modify this line. You will see that the web page loads automatically the changes. I'm going to add here a paragraph in HTML. So let's modify and control S to save and let's refresh the web page. You can see that the changes are automatically applied. And now I'm going to show you more or less the same with a period environment, but we are going to install also NPM, the package manager. You can check all the Node.js packages that are available in this Debian period environment, but we are going to use the Node.js standard version. So let's install with sudo apt install Node.js. You have to write the sudo password and this will be installed. Now you can search also for the npm package. So if you need any third party library, you can install it with this package. So let's install with sudo apt install npm and just wait for a few seconds. You can check that everything is installed fine with the commands to see the version of the packages. For example, node minus minus version and the same for npm. And after that, we can start coding with Visual Studio Code. So we are going to create a small project like the one that we have already done in Termux. So let's open Visual Studio Code and let's create a new folder for our JavaScript application. Remember that if you don't know how to have this environment installed on your Android device, you can check the description of the video on how to install a Debian environment. Here I'm going to create a new folder for the application. So let's open it and we are going to create again a couple of files. So let's create a new file called in this case server.js and another one called index.html. We are going to copy the same code as before, but we are going to see a bit later that we have a problem and we need to install a third party library so we can run this application. But for now, just let's populate the files with the code. In case you want this HTML and JavaScript code, you can leave a comment in the video and I will publish a repository or something in GitHub. So now let's finish copying the JavaScript file and we are going to run the project with the node commands as before. So let's open a terminal in Visual Studio Code and check that we are in the proper path. So now let's run the JavaScript file with the command node and the name of the script file. In my case, server.js. In this case, I had an error. So if we go to the first line, we can see that there is a library called express that we are missing. So we need to install it. For that, we're going to use npm. So we are going to run the command npm install and the name of the library. You can install almost any library, but there is a few ones that might be problematic with Thermos, but it is a matter of try and error. After we have installed it, we can run again the project with the command node and the name of the JavaScript file. And now we can open the browser with the URL that appears in the terminal. So let's copy the URL to localhost and the port 3000. And I want to show you another error that I have. In this case, I opened Chromium and I went to the localhost URL and the port 3000, but I found the following error. This is related that the index.html file is not in the proper folder. So to fix that, we just need to create a new folder called public and we are going to move the index.html file to this uh, folder. After that, we can run again the project or just go to the browser and reload this. So if we reload the page, we can see that now it is working fine without any problem. So now everything is working fine and you're going to start playing with the code. You can go to the HTML file and you can modify as you prefer and have your own web pages hosted in your Android devices. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And if you want to see any other programming languages, just leave it in the comments.